Now, I hope y'all are ready for this brand new Glimmer Bomb we got going for y'all because our boy Nides over here has just dropped some brand new exclusive gameplay commentary. And why, ooh, is it a doozy? Well, that was our very trusty co-host, Spencer, with our intro. But anyways, we have our first piece of real news for Lurkana since D23. There can be up to two colors per deck. But first, what are Glimmer Bombs? What are you guys listening to right now? Glimmer Bombs are short segments of podcasts where when news drops just like this. And I'm joined with Blake today to talk about that news. So, Blake, what do you got? Uh, I'm, for one, very excited about some actual new news for the game. Uh, but... Uh, this news of being able to use two up to two inks for decks. Uh, for me, this sounds like a good balance. Uh, keeps it pretty simple and not making it too complicated for beginners, but it does allow for that complexity, especially as more uh, sets get released, to really dig into what color combinations work out the best and really uh, gel together. All that fun part of deck building, uh, just figuring that out is what I'm most excited for with this. Yeah, I definitely, I woke up late. Uh, we got this news from Knives Nerd Corner as well. I forgot to mention that, but he got some very special uh, news from Lark Disney on Lizzie Narcon on Twitter. And we watched this morning and I think it's cool that we got this news. Uh, my first reaction was, what if there's something like weakness in Pokemon in this? Like you look at the color wheel, red or red and blue make purple. So what if like if you use red and blue on perp on a purple deck, maybe it takes more damage or something like that. That's where mine went. But I definitely think it's really cool just to see like what this could come up. And I know like there'll be a lot more speculation on color theory and all that in the future. So I'm definitely excited to see what this brings. And it's refreshing to have something new to talk about. Because I guarantee you this will be a topic of conversation for the next week or even more. Absolutely. Uh, the other thing uh, that I'm also speculating with this is that uh, with uh, com the color combos, um, they could easily, to start off, they could release three starter decks and have all of the colors represented, uh, which would just be a good way to have everyone be able to try out all the different colors and uh, be able to start using them all uh, right off the bat. Oh yeah, for sure. And with those starter decks, like there's 21 total combos that you can use with colors, 15 dual colors. So mixing and matching two and then six, just playing by itself. I definitely think some colors, there will be like, I think one color. I could see steel being a color that's really good by itself. It feels like it always has been the oddball in all of these. So having that like, difference i could see it being a good mono but there will also be colors that are really good together so it's going to be very interesting to see like how they pair things and it'll be it'll be a nice journey to go on uh as they reveal more stuff and these colors definitely mean a lot more than they did before i believe oh yeah it's definitely going to be uh some fun uh just figuring out what's going to be better as a mono color and uh, what colors will pair and make some crazy combos. But uh, speaking of combos, uh, are there is there a color combo that you are looking forward to, uh, Teddy? Uh, I think my two f like favorite colors are blue and purple. So if those work well together, I would love that. But I also could see blue and red working together. I'm the biggest fan of green or orange or uh those colors but i definitely could see i would love to see blue red or blue purple all uh, work well together what about you uh yeah my my favorite colors are blue and purple as well so i'm also on that boat uh but just looking at the different cards uh, that we've already seen i'm i'm looking at uh hook and uh stitch and i just see that already playing well together so i'm very interested to see what we could put together for steel amber deck oh yeah for sure i i think that was one of the topics of the conversation i saw in the discord so that'll definitely be something to look forward to in the future as we go on there but that is all what we have for our glimmer bomb today we hope you all enjoyed this quick episode and we can't wait to bring you guys more news in the future signing off this is teddy and blake have a good day We hope you enjoyed our first Glimmer Bomb. There will be many of these in the future as we get more news. But for now, thanks everyone for listening and Glimmer on.